Hey everyone, it's Alex Babs12345 here with the new Bratz Costume Bash dolls. All three, so that's Yasmin, Chloe, and Jade. And if you couldn't tell, Costume Bash is kind of the uh, yearly Halloween line. Um, following like Costume Party, uh, Masquerade, Chic Mystique, and yeah. But this time they've kind of gone back to having different costumes instead of following like a specific theme. So it definitely... It's a little throwback to um, the costume party lines from 2006 to 2008. First up is the lovely Yasmin, who's costumed as a cowgirl for Halloween. Um, and her face, you know, very Yasmin makeup, pretty neutral, but um, with some kind of smoky-ish purple on the eyes. Um, and then light pink on the lips. Lots of glitter on this line, just a heads up, because some people really don't like it. But as you know, I love glitter makeup on the Bratz. Um, so I'm really happy with it. But yeah, and her eyes are like kind of reddish brown with little yellow highlights. So yeah, and her earrings, she has little studs in silver. And normally, you know, I'm not really a big fan of the stud earrings. But when they're painted, you know, I'm here for that. So she has studs in silver, um, and then her hair, she actually has the amazing like silky heaven hair. No one's really too sure what it's called, what it is, like, but it's just amazing. It's like a cross between Saran and Kanekalon. Um, I actually kind of prefer it to Saran because it's just so soft, and so she has amazing hair. Don't even worry about the hair on her. Um, and that is, of course, in brown, but it's in her, like, darker shade that she switches to sometimes. And she also has pink chunks on top on each side, uh, because her hair is in pigtails. And it's pretty kind of curly. Um, and when stretched all the way out, it's about knee length in the pigtails, so longer when you take it down if you're going to. And she also has bangs, which are a little short. Um, they're thatched bangs, which I'm not really a big fan of, but I don't know, for a costume look, I guess they work. They give her that kind of a uh, cute, uh, vintage, kind of campy cowgirl look. And then for a hat, this doesn't come on her, so it's technically an accessory. She has an all-new mold um, of a cowboy hat, and it's in white with pink stitching and a little band around it. And that stays on with an elastic that's attached. Um, so it is removable, because, well, obviously, it's because in the package she's not wearing it. Um, so that is y And here is Yasmin's costume. Of course, she is a cowgirl. Um, very pink, very girly, very fun. She has this kind of, um, I forget what you call it, but like, you know, picnic uh, mat thing. <laughs> picnic blanket pattern. I don't remember the official name, but you've all seen it before. Um, in light pink with lots of sparkles on it. Um, and then over that she has this really cute little bandana around her neck. And this is actually separate. It comes off. There's Velcro in the back. So that's good because I can definitely uh, use this in a few different outfits. And she also has a little sheriff's badge, which is a really cute touch. And I like that it's actually like a badge and it's not just a sticker or some kind of decal um, on the top. And that's in silver, very shiny metallic. Um, and her outfit is just a dress, all in one piece. Uh, so in the middle, there's kind of like this pink, kind of corset-looking section in like vinyl, pleather kind of material. And then the skirt part is cow print, classic cowgirl look, and it's a little fuzzy. It has a nice texture to it. And then fringes all around, adding to that uh, campy cowgirl look. Perfect for a costume bash. And then her shoes, um, actually, the first time a taller Bratz doll has had this mold, uh, the classic Bratz high-heeled cow boot, cowboy boots, uh, Wild Wild West. And these are in all white with a hot pink um, bird on the front. Really like the look of these, and I'm happy to see them uh, integrating some of the older classic shoe molds in the new lines. Um, and all the dolls have little purses. Yasmin's is just um, hot pink with little pockets, and um, they're a little tiny looking. But I mean, you know, it's realistic small purse size. I'm not really sure what she could hold in there, though. And of course, she also has a hairbrush in hot pink with the Bratz logo on it. And here is Chloe, who's costumed as a flower power hippie uh, girl. 
and her face gorgeous um, it's basically like her desert jewels face uh, but with like hot hot pink lips and lots of gorgeous glitter um, she's almost like she reminds me of formal funk so like so much crusty glitter <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm a fan of that. You probably aren't, but whatever. Um, and then she also has a butterfly motif on her cheek, which is kind of like a little nod to the fashion pixies. So that's fun. Um, and she also has two, well, obviously two, um, her earrings are big hoops in hot pink. And, uh, on top, I really like that they really went out all out with, um, putting in little extra accessories like sunglasses and things with these costumes. Um, she has this fabric headband which matches her pants in purple with flowers and polka dots and butterflies on it, um, and stripes. And it is fabric, has velcro in the back, obviously it comes off. Um, and she also has purple aviator shades, giving her that 70s look. Um, and then her hair, just like Yasmin, she has this amazing hair, um, really great silky texture perfect um, and obviously it's platinum blonde with purple streaks and she um, also has pigtails like Yasmin but she also has this braid in the front and I believe Chloe's hair is the same length as Yasmin yeah about knee length um, in the pigtails and unlike Yasmin she doesn't have bangs it's just parted down the middle and yeah. And here is Chloe's costume. Um, if it were just like a fashion, like if this were just a hippie line and she wore this, I would be disgusted. Because, <laughs> um, you know, obviously this isn't how actual hippies in the 70s dressed. But for a costume bash line, I actually think it's pretty clever and very fitting. Because you could easily get a costume just like this at Party City or something. Um, so it's definitely very costumey. Um, kind of like a parody of hippies because you know that's really essentially what a costume is um, and the outfit is all separates which I like um, this top very like flouncy flowy see-through fabric but don't worry she's covered with a little strip of um, pink fabric underneath mm -hmm. um, but yeah like lots of little flowy layers and uh, like bell sleeves um, very, very flower power, and um, it's hot pink with like a tie-dye pattern, but also with some big crazy flowers all over it. Um, and she also has a fur vest in white, well, faux fur, obviously, and that is separate from the top, so you can take that off if you want to. Um, for a necklace, she has perfect, like, lime green peace sign necklace. Uh, this mold first appeared on, I think, Dylan in the first ever Bratz Boys in 2002. Um, so that little jewelry mold is back. Um, and then her pants, uh, probably the one thing I really don't like about this outfit, but again, for costume bash, perfect. Um, in this purple, stretchy, kind of like a book cover material, uh, with stripes, matches the headband, same material with, uh, peace signs, flowers, butterflies, all kinds of stuff all over it, and then it goes down into these crazy huge like over the top bell bottoms like gigantic um yeah so that's fun kind of like how they swing around and move very nicely and then her shoes <gasps> princess heels so yes the return of the world famous Bratz princess shoe mold with the awesome platform high stiletto but this time they're in hot pink um, and as you can see, it's the mold with the ribbon and the studs on it, because there are a few princess shoe molds. But this is definitely, like, monumental, or whatever. <laughs> um, you know, these are a fan favorite mold, so it's definitely great to see them back in the game. And hopefully we'll get more dolls with these shoe molds. Um, and then her little purse is uh, purple with some, like, red tubing molded on around it and uh, little pockets rings and things you know it's painted which is nice um, again pretty small but whatever <laughs> it's nice that they have purses and then Chloe has a hairbrush in like lavender with the Bratz logo and here is Jade who is costumed as a sassy gingerbread girl which is actually more fitting for Christmas I think 
but I mean, whatever, she's Jade, you know, she has a quirky style. Uh, she actually has my favorite costume of the, of the three. Um, and here's her face. Very neutral eye makeup, a little bit of purple on top. Um, but then what kind of sets it off is all the glitter. And then her lips are really pretty, like, hot pink, uh, kind of reddish color, very electric. Um, and actually no glitter on her lips. Um, but then she also has a heart on her cheek that again has the glitter and that heart is in pink. Um, basically the same heart that was on Brielle's face uh, in Masquerade way back in 2011. And then, like Yasmin, she has studs but hers are not painted sadly and they are just in red. So yeah, and then her hair. Ugh, love the color, love the style. Um, but sadly, you know, she doesn't have the amazing silky heaven hair that the other two have. They're just, um, she's just got kind of like stiff nylon, but, ugh, it, like, it's so styled, like, so cool. Um, so I really wish that she had better hair quality, but I mean, happy that we're getting really intricate hairstyles again. Um, very, like, peppermint, solid white hair with red streaks throughout it. Lots of little twists and buns and things. I'm um, in this side ponytail with a little twist that wraps all the way around it. Um, and then on this side she has another little twist with this big, like, cookie hair accessory in it. Like, I really love how over the top her costume is. Like, this is just so Jade. And here is Jade's costume up close. Um, like, gingerbread, candy girl theme. Uh, she has a really cute, like, bow tie around her neck that's obviously removable. Um, so that's really cute. And then, uh, this kind of, like, textured, like, fuzzy material for the, uh, top part of her dress, which gives it that gingerbread, like, cookie good enough to eat look. Um, and she has, like, white, I think it's called rickrack, but, you know, the squiggly things that look like, uh, icing. And normally I hate this uh, material, but I don't know, it really works to her advantage here because it does look like icing on a gingerbread cookie. Um, and that just goes up and down and then all around the top. Um, and then she has this little, like, pearly heart uh, thing <laughs> um, on the front that's, you know, I don't remember what you call it, but like it changes colors in the light. So that's cool. Um, and then the skirt part of her dress is, like, hot pink satiny material, just like her bow, um, with little gingerbread men and hearts, well, gingerbread hearts, um, all over it. And that goes all the way around, not half print. Um, and then more, like, big rickrack, but it's, um, like, shimmery, very cool, very, like, costumey, but not, like, hideous, just very fun. Um, and then... Her legs are molded in red and white to look like leggings or tights, and I actually don't mind it here because it really does work well with the costume. I wouldn't want, like, chunky leggings, um, so, you know, I'm fine with the skin-tight look. I think this is a doll that, like, is just kind of meant to stay in her costume, um, but yeah. So that's pretty cool, like, peppermint cane, uh, candy cane legs, and then her shoes are just plain red ankle boots, which I mean, I like, you know, we haven't gotten them in this color yet, but I did like the shoes on the prototype a lot, which were just, um, strappy brown heels with the little things on the toes. That would have been nice, but I don't really mind these, I mean, whatever. Um, and her accessory, well, one of them is, like, this little present. I think Jade really thinks it's Christmas, I don't really know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a pink gift box with a red bow. And then her little purse is in red with silver detailing on it. Pretty cute. And then her brush is in red. So that is cute. So those are the new Bratz Costume Bash dolls. Pretty fun line, great for the price point, lots of separate pieces that you can use. Um, definitely a good Halloween costume line. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.